The U.S. military has delivered single-use M-141 bunkered defeat munitions to Ukraine. The stocks are coming from the U.S. Army arsenal. The weapon is designed to take out fortifications and is also suitable to act against non-armored assets and light armor such as APCs or infantry fighting vehicles. This constitutes a portion of the first lot delivered as a part of the support package worth $200 million US dollars. The photos depicting the loading of M141 weapons onto a plane that landed in Kyiv on the 22nd of January were published by the USAF 436th Aerial Port Squadron PAO. The base is working on the delivery of FMS equipment from Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. The payload included the Javelin ATGMs and the M141 weapons. The latter had not been delivered earlier, or at least no official information on that was released. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American-made M141 bunker defeat munition could spell trouble for Russian forces. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The U.S. government has been stepping up deliveries of weapons and other military aid to Ukraine. This is mainly because of the growing signs that Russia may be about to launch a new invasion of that country. While the transfer of U.S.-made javelins and British-supplied N-laws has garnered a lot of attention, transport of M141 bunker defeat munition had remained relatively less published news. But now the U.S. military has highlighted the transfer of pallet loads of this more obscure weapon system. Importantly, despite its name, it's not limited to engaging bunkers and similar fortifications and is a versatile weapon. M141 Bunker Defeat Munition is a specific purpose weapon. As the name suggests, it can be used against bunkers and fortified positions. The launchers have been designed for the U.S. Army to fill in the capability gap in the area of overcoming enemy fortifications. The weapon was designed as a modification of the United States Marine Corps shoulder-launched multi-purpose assault weapon SMAW to fill the void in the United States Army inventory of a bunker buster weapon. The weapon is a single-use launcher with a high explosive dual purpose HEDP warhead. M141 BDM launchers have been commissioned in the US Army since 1999 in small quantities and mainly to be used during foreign deployments. The US Army procured several thousand examples, most of which have been used in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. US Army Rangers have used M141s at various fortified caves during the Tora Bora operations against the Afghan Taliban and Al Qaeda. The M141 weighs a little over 7 kilograms, or 15 and a half pounds. The launcher is of conventional, simple design with a launch container that is 81 centimeters 
or 32 inches long. After extending the launcher to its full length of 140 centimeters, it's already armed and ready for launch. The effective range of the weapon is 15 to 500 meters. The warhead is activated by a crushed switch in its nose that's able to distinguish between hard and soft targets. If the projectile hits a hard obstacle, it explodes immediately. The projectile is capable of penetrating up to 200 millimeters, 8 inches of concrete, or 300 millimeters, 12 inches of brick. It can effectively penetrate the armor of BTR-8082 or BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles. When encountering a soil barrier or sandbags, the warhead detonation is delayed and happens after the outer layer is penetrated. Thanks to the above, the weapon can easily go through a 2 meter thick layer of sandbags. Most estimates put the number of Russian troops deployed around Ukraine to the countries north, south and east at about 100,000. But one Ukrainian assessment reported by CNN says there are 106,000 ground troops and 21,000 Navy and Air Force personnel. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the intelligence is very clear that there are 60 Russian battle groups on the borders of Ukraine, about a third of the total available numbers. In addition to the regular Russian troops, there are thought to be about 15,000 Russian separatists in Ukraine's Luhansk and Donetsk regions. Six Russian Navy vessels, capable of landing main battle tanks, personnel and armored vehicles, are potentially moving into the Mediterranean Sea. It's a massive force and Ukraine will find the M141 bunker defeat munition a very useful weapon if an invasion is underway. For Ukraine's military, M141s could give small units additional immediate firepower, especially against troops and light vehicles in urban areas that might be using solid structures for cover. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.